guys and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker and now joining me in the studio is Ann Kelly. She is the coach for FIRST Robotics at, at Bishop DeBerg, right? right? Thank you That's for joining right. us You're today. welcome. Thank you for having us. Now tell me, how do you start a robotics club? Uh, it takes a couple of things. Um, student interest, mm -hmm. uh, some parents and mentors that you can get to come in and help out with the team, a coach, and money. <laughs> <laughs> and you need a place where you can work on building the robot. Exactly. Too. And so we have that at Bishop DeBerg. Very cool. Now done. what made you decide to start a, a robotics club? Um, actually, it wasn't my idea. Mm -hmm. um, there was a parent who was a mentor at Boeing and he had a student who was a freshman that year and he knew that Boeing was involved in robotics mm -hmm. and so he wanted to bring it to Bishop DeBerg High School. And so the principal and assistant principal asked me, since I was one of the teachers there, and I like doing hands-on things mm -hmm. since I'm the physical science teacher, and uh, so they asked me if I'd be the coach, and I said yes. Very cool. And you've been doing and it so, for about seven years now? Uh, actually, this is my, our fifth year. Oh, your fifth year. My fifth okay. year. It's my seventh year at the school, but fifth year doing robotics. Great. Now, how have you seen uh, the club grow from what were you guys making at the beginning and to what are you making now? The robots that we used at first mm -hmm. were, were for the uh, first tech challenge, which were little bitty robots that fit in an 18-inch crate. Mm -hmm. And those robots we're now using for our summer camps that we run mm -hmm. at school because they don't use those kits anymore for the FTC competition. Right. And so we use them for those. And then we moved into a, a little bit larger robot. It still had to fit in an 18-inch crate um, cube. But, and so that worked out. And then, in fact, we have one of those here mm -hmm. that we brought with us today to kind of show you how that works. And, uh, and then from there, the next year, we moved into doing the little robots and the big robots wow. for the FRC competition. Cool. That's a little more expensive, a little more challenging, a mm -hmm. little more work involved in it, but it's a whole lot of fun. Now, what type of student is interested in robotics club? Any kind of student. Mm -hmm. You mean male, female, doesn't matter. Um, somebody who likes to use their hands and do things and not just read about something in a book. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to be a little more inquisitive, a little curious. Um, like wondering how things are made. Yeah, exactly. Like how that. are things made? How does this work? Mm -hmm. What can I do with it? Mm -hmm. um, and so they get involved in those kind of things. You know, they might be wanting to be engineers. Maybe not. Maybe they want to be in, in some kind of field of technology. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they want to be a nurse. Or maybe they want to be a teacher. Just somebody who likes to, to do things and they want the opportunity to explore what they can do. Right. You know? Now, you've been doing this for five years, you said. Now, right. how have you seen um, it change students like outlook on you know the way things work or uh, have they become more interested in physical science or have they become more interested in engineering I think it makes them more interested in just how things work mm -hmm. um, that's one of the things that I've seen that they have this their, their curiosity for fixing things and making things work really grows I really seen a lot of growth in that with the kids you know, which is nice. It kind of makes me feel good because <laughs> it's, I see them wanting to go on and learn more and right. to do more with it, you know, and become more, they become more passionate about it, mm -hmm. you know, and about seeing that, you know, if there's a problem, they keep working at it until they get it to solve. And right. if it doesn't work out the first time, okay, well, we'll let's go back to the drawing board and see what else we think might work even better, and we try it. Right, so you know? problem so solving. Do. So problem solving is Very immense. Good. Yes. Cool. Now, um, the robotics that they're building right now, there we have a few in the background that we'll talk about mm -hmm. um, a little bit more, but how do you all get funding for the, these um, robots? Fundraisers. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone to restaurants and, and um, had fundraisers there where the, when people come in and they say, yeah, they, they're here for you know supporting our team, then a certain percentage will come to us. Uh, we've also written letters and contacted you know potential sponsors that way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and asking them for donations so that that helps to fund. And then we have we have a family that's been very generous to us at school that they had a, their son started as a freshman and now he's a freshman in college, mm -hmm. um, and they've been very 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 helpful very for good. us to give us some funding. And then Boeing also has given us the five thousand dollar grant these last couple of years so that we can do the big robot. It gives us the kit of parts. Then we have to make the money to go out and now buy all the extra stuff that we need so we can actually build the robot and have a good working robot for the competition. Now, how does the team work as a team? Are, are there delegated positions, or how do they all kind of just work they together? They are, but we kind of all work. All the kids work together. They're all part of what we call the build team, mm -hmm. so that if something needs to be worked on for building it, they all can do that. But then we break it down. So we have some kids that are working on just the awards mm -hmm. or the publicity kind of stuff to get us out there and, and notoriety sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, there are kids who are working on um, maybe they're doing like designing the t-shirts and the buttons and things that we're going to give out or that we're going to wear mm -hmm. for the competition. So that's all done by the students. Or maybe they're the ones that are working on um, 
helping to get sponsors right. and going out to people and, and talking to them about it. You know, right. so there, there's all little nuances and things that they have to do. It's like running a business, exactly. and the kids have to do it. Right. You know, it's not just me doing it. I'm the coach, so I have to be there to kind of make sure things happen. But it's basically, the all kids, the it's all done by the kids. Right, yeah. and we have a lot more. Uh, speaking of students, we're going to be talking to one student as we come back. You guys mm -hmm. want to go anywhere? We're going to look at some um, robots and how they work. It's really cool. So remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We'll be right back with more of STL TV.